Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to dilute the buffers with my 15 milliliters of deionized water, right? And I should probably record the pH now because I didn't record the pH. I recorded the pH before, before I had uh, diluted it with some water. So let's see here. The pH of it is now 4.90 uh, for beaker number one. And then for beaker number two, the pH is 4.90. Okay, so you can adjust those pH values. All right, now for my sodium hydroxide and my hydrochloric acid solutions, my stock solutions are one molar concentration, so I've got to dilute them to get them to 0.1. So for my hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, I'm going to go ahead and add 1.5 mils each to give me a total volume of 15 mils because I'm going to want to rinse the inside of the burette out. So for the hydrochloric acid, I'm just going to go ahead and use a disposable pipette to get myself, if I can get the lid off, to get myself my 1.5 molar concentration. Okay, so we're going to pull out one point five, which is that right there. Okay, so there's my HCl. And then I'm going to pull out 1.5 of sodium hydroxide. Okay. All right, now. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the inside of the burette out with each one of these first. I've got my waste beakers underneath each burette. I think what I'm going to do is put these in alphabetical order. The hydrochloric acid is going to be on the left. The sodium hydroxide is going to be on the right. And that's how I have it here in this figure on the board that I showed you earlier in the flow chart. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this burette and just rinse a little bit of it through. And of course, it is not draining even though I just tested it. Okay, let's see if that maybe will drain with a little bit more. No. Oh, there we go. There was a little air bubble in it. Thank God. All right. So we're draining that out to rinse out any impurities on the inside of the burette. I'm going to close the burette and then I'm going to fill it. And I made just enough. I only needed 10 mils. So that's why I only made 15 mils of the solution. And of course, I forgot that you can only see up to a certain volume, so part of it, I'll just have to estimate it. Okay. Now, for the sodium hydroxide, I'm going to go ahead and rinse the inside of this other burette. There's another air bubble at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to... Do it one more time. Okay, I'm going to close it and then I'm going to fill it. Okay, so it looks like I have a little bit less 
I'm at 43 mils for the HCl, and I'm at 41.5 over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain this to 43-ish to match the other, okay? Since I'm going to be kind of estimating half and half with those. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the waste beaker. I'm going to stick beaker number two right here. And I'm going to stick beaker number one right here underneath the HCL. And then we're going to go ahead and add five milliliters um, to the first beaker. So I'm just going to use half of this volume. So half of this is going to be approximately at 49 mils, actually 48, I would say. So yeah, 48. Okay, so we're going to add HCl. get the pH of that. Stick my base speaker underneath. I'm going to stir this a little bit. The pH is 4.48, 4.49. Put it back underneath the burette. We want to add another five milliliter portion of the hydrochloric acid to it. waste speaker back under it. Let's get the pH one more time. Stir a little bit. The pH has dropped. So the pH has dropped to about 3.66, 3.67. So yeah, okay. So we're done with that. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into a waste beaker. And then we can go ahead and do the NaOH. So now what we're going to do is, I don't need to raise that, I'm going to go ahead and add a 5 milliliter portion to beaker number 2 using the NaOH. So here we go. This is coming out fast. Okay, so I've added a five milliliter portion. Let's put this waste beaker back underneath here. Let's get the pH. Let's stir a little bit. My pH is 5.37, okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the other five milliliter portion of the NaOH. And we're looking at a pH of 6.2, 0 actually, it keeps going up. So it looks like around 6.3, 6.30, okay?